you guys? Um, well, you know, they got a lot of big bodies. They're a big running team. But I, with our talents and the way we prepared this week, I feel like we're going to be capable to stop the run and just go out there and give it our all, and we'll come out with the W. Into this week. Last week, that was a big win for us because we were coming off a loss, you know, and we just had to refocus on some things, get our confidence back, and we're just going to go out, do what we can this weekend, get the W, and then move on to next week's game. Uh, it, it drives us a lot because we want to do everything we can for these seniors. They've been more than helpful throughout the season. You know, they put their hearts in, into this, so we just turn, uh, return the favor. Uh, definitely our communication. Communication at the beginning of the season was not so well, but as the season went on, we developed that communication, that brotherhood. So that's that's the biggest key right there, communication. Uh, just that domination mentality. We got to go out and dominate. We know what type of team we have. We know we have good players all around. We know we could be the best in the conference, but we just got to go out and play like it. I mean, I really haven't thought about this, but it'll be my last home game, but it should be pretty special. Uh, I'm looking forward to go out there and play hard like I've always been doing. So it's, it's, it's pretty exciting. It's going to be an exciting day. It definitely brought us some confidence, you know, like, like Jay Will said, we uh, came off a loss and, and we ended up went beating Washburn in overtime. So it gave us uh, confidence, you know. So you got to work off of, off that uh, that, that win. Oh, man, it's, it's just, I've been here for four years, I'm coming from a JUCO, and it feel like family here, man. Like, honestly, it really feel like family. I came here, and I, they welcomed me with open hands. So that's the biggest thing about this team, and I wouldn't change this. I wouldn't change nothing about it. You know, I, like I said, I really haven't thought about it yet. I don't, I don't want to think about it, you know. Uh, but I probably just, I probably wouldn't think nothing about it, honestly, because I, I put my all into the game. So I leave it out there. Well, number one. Um We've we've been pretty average as far as like coming off big wins, and uh, I think coming back home we haven't played really that well uh, this year at home. Uh, playing for four quarters, being consistent, building off what we did last week, uh, playing our brand of football, uh, being being able to uh, execute at a high level, uh, and you know making sure that we send these seniors out, you know, on the on a, on a good note, but. And to do that, you know, making sure that we, like I said, execute uh, our game plan both offensively and defensively and play for four quarters and, and uh, play in, in front of a great crowd and, like I said, honor this, this senior class. Well, I mean, as far as, like, uh, you know, any type of goals that we set before games, a lot of that just falls under our, our horned edge, which is playing clean, uh, you know, making sure that we don't, uh, you know, we limit our penalties and, and making sure that we don't have any pre pre-snap uh, penalties, uh, making sure that we uh, have explosive plays, um, making sure that we, when we get inside the red zone, that we're putting points on the on the board um, and, and doing better on third down. You know, that again, we weren't, we didn't do a really good job of that last week. Uh, now we did a really good job on fourth down. Uh, we were 100% on, but uh, third down was something that we didn't do a very good job. So that's another thing I look at for us improving on. Uh, this Saturday. Well, I know how they'll respond. They'll respond the way they always have, man, and that's that's the right way. And they'll be ready. To, they'll be ready to go. I mean, it's a great group. Uh, they they really, um, you know, they make coaching enjoyable. And just the way they they come to work every day, um, you know, they're they're easy to talk to, communicate with, talk to them about other things besides football. Um, players that are going to be successful in their life uh, when they when they leave Emporia State. Uh, and at the same time, you know, this university is going to be important to them because this is where, you know, they got their degree and they kind of started their life um, right before they take that next step. So these are the guys you're going to want to have come back. They're going to be great alumni and uh, just, a, just a great group, fun to coach. Like I said, you know, um, I can't say enough good things about them. Well, again, I think, you know, we gave up too many big plays last week, so we definitely got to uh, not do that. And, and we know that they've not <clears throat> averaged very many points um, per game. And, you know, again, that's when I, it goes back to, like I, I said, you know, we got to execute at a high level, uh, both sides of the football, uh, play with consistent effort uh, throughout four quarters, regardless of what the score is, uh, <clears throat> maintain our, our, our focus, maintain, uh, you know, being able to get off the field on third down. I mean, again, uh, we were not very good. 
uh, in that area either last week defensively. So that's another thing that we need to, to improve on. So uh, that's kind of how you know I look at the, this just game in general. You know, uh, we we have a lot to to show. Uh, not only a great senior class, but also like I said, we've not played well uh, here, unfortunately, this year for whatever reason. All right. So it's time to start now. <laughs> Same thing we've been doing is working hard, you know, uh, right there. <laughs> like Coach Tickets said, me running the ball. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> but uh, not nah, to go out there and play hard like, we, like we've been doing.